<clears throat> all right guys so first thing is first what does the truth do truth always brings controversy the truth is always going to bring drama controversy because a lot of people are triggered by the truth and let's use these modern day women for example when we say this doesn't mean all women in general never does you're an exception to the rule but if you do get triggered by the things I say that's probably because you're triggered and you're exposed so it's probably you which it's not a good thing but other women you know who you are it's, it shouldn't be a black and white thing here it just is what it is but if you bring truth on a situation let's say for example if you want to throw the term out there that feminism has killed relationships and killed a whole bunch of things today if you're triggered by that then it probably goes to show that you're a part of the feminism cult you are a feminist and it's the same type of females that will complain about anything and when you tell them the truth, when you tell them that this is why it is, they get all mad and pissy. There is no other reason in the world as why things are the way they are today. It is 100% feminism and all these feminists out here. There's no other reason. Through the beginning of time, up till now, men have kept that same energy now. Have we grown over time yeah it's because of how hard men worked in the earlier days in the world up till now as to why the world is what it is today so you know when we talk in these subjects a lot of this truth brings a lot of controversy a lot of these modern day bimbos don't want to accept it they don't. Why do you think truth brings controversy, drama, and all these things? Because it's the truth. When you live a lie through manipulation, through, through doing things to get your own little greedy way, and the truth comes out, it's going to trigger you. It's going to hit home. It's exactly what it's going to do. That's why the truth brings controversy, drama, all these things. It's a fact. <clears throat> and you know, this is a very popular topic today for very good reasons. The thing that, that that's concerning for women is that they have no idea what's coming because the world got a lot worse as of late when it comes to like how relationships should be today all the career oriented women all these boss bitches and stuff like this right they have no idea what's coming for the future because they're gonna get to a certain age where no man they want wants anything to do with them. And this is where it's headed. All the men that these modern women want but don't have right now, but think they're gonna get later on, they can run around, play their games, do all the things they're gonna do right now. The men they think they can get later on, they're not gonna be there. And this is the problem. <clears throat> I know females who can pretty much get their way with any guy. And right now they're single but they, have, they had so many guys 
like so many different guys in their life. And nobody was ever good enough for this bimbo. She tested the waters. She's seen how easy things were. And guess what? She's going to be shocked at the leverage she does not have as she continues to get a little bit older. She's not going to have any of that leverage anymore because her time is gone. Do you guys understand <clears throat> how little leverage men have when they're really young, when they ain't fully got their shit together, when things just ain't on point? They don't have a whole lot of leverage. They might have leverage here and there in some situations, but they don't have much leverage. They don't have all the power. But as they continue to grow and mature, get a little bit older, more successful, more established, better looking, better in shape, better everything, their leverage starts to grow. And it's just the way it is. But it's not the same for a female. Females leverage, I don't care who you are, starts to drop significantly the more older you get. Men are only going to put up, the reason why there's females in the world that can put men through loops and make men jump through loops and, and do the craziest shit is because of how high their value is when they're that young and that good looking. That is why. Are we going to beat around the bush and say it's not like this? Because everything I'm explaining right now is 100% facts, and it is this way. And it always was, and it always will be. <clears throat> but it's important. This video is not just to help men or just to help women. Everybody should be benefiting off of this video. We want both genders at the end of the day living their best lives. But how are you going to live your best life if you don't know the truth? Some of these women that had so much leverage are not told what's going to happen to them when they're older because they think in their head they never went a day without having all the leverage they have, playing all the games they played, making countless amounts of dudes jump through hoops. They never been rejected. They never saw what it was like to not have that leverage. In their head, they were never told any different. No one's going to tell them. Just come up and tell them. Your value is going to decrease as you get older. You're not going to have this kind of leverage over men. No one's going to come and tell them these things. Nobody. So, <clears throat> it's these types of females that's in for a very rude awakening. And this is why, as I tell you guys the truth, someone watching this video is probably triggered. They don't like what they're hearing, but it's the truth. And it's, it's, it's exactly my point. Truth brings controversy. But at the same time, the truth helps. That's, that's what else the truth brings. A lot of help. These things are not my opinion. This really is how things go. When these women, man, are in their very early 20s, or even late teens. The amount of leverage they have because of how youthful they are, how beautiful they are at the time. Their stock, their value is, a, is, is at an all time high. That's why they can have their way. It does not stay the same over time as they continue to get older and into their 30s and into their 40s. It does not stay the same. They're not gonna have nearly as many men and they're not gonna have no high quality men either if they wait it out and get into those years see for yourself why don't you try this and get older and see how things go because it's not going to go the way it used to go for you just like <clears throat> with men a lot of men struggle in their later teens early 20s they get put through hoops as I did, and it only it only has driven me more and more and more and more and more and more 
it only pissed me off and put a chip on my shoulder more and more and more and only made me today more successful and it's only going to continue to go that way so my stock continues to rise and as these women start to get older because that's what happens as long as you're living you're getting older right now I'm getting older we're all getting older you're getting older watching this video as time's going by time's ticking that hourglass is pouring the leverage starts to drop for her the leverage heightens and goes up for me for a guy like me for a guy probably like you so where women get it wrong is they don't think long term they think right now and I've already turned down countless amounts of women that thought they were cool when they were really young you even do that shit to me a little bit you're off the market to me and I love that I love sticking it to these types of females you don't take for granted what's going to be good over time you do not do it I try to warn them myself you're gonna be sorry just wait and see it already happened three years down the line oh baby please oh baby please take me back <laughs> can't say I didn't tell you so I told you you see these women oftentimes shoot themselves in the foot and it's your own damn fault now you get older you have to settle with a lesser of a dude because it's not like you still can't get a dude these women yeah they can still get a dude they're just not gonna live their best life they're gonna settle for less while the guy they used to have is going to have much better than they ever were. And this is how the game goes, guys. You don't be a little dumb bitch. And those things don't happen to you. So, and you know what? Every, every woman that made very wrong decisions that is watching this video, I hope you have the maturity enough to not be triggered. But a lot of you will be. Because you know deep in your heart you made a lot of errors, you made a lot of mistakes, and you know if you go back in time, you probably could have had yourself a great life with a great high value dude, but guess what? When you were young, when he was young, you had the leverage, you took him for granted. It's the exact story what happened to me, and guess what? I didn't take this bimbo back. She didn't deserve me. My value started to increase. Guess what? She has that little wits about herself now. Oh shit, look what's going on here. Look, look what's going on with him. He's got it going. He's confident. He's looking better every damn day. Look at this. She tries to come back, test those waters. Guess what? F, you failed. And now the scarcity sets in. Now they're terrified. And every way they ever made you feel is coming right back onto them and they feel that way and you walk away the confident motherfucker you really are. And always were and always knew you were. So she pays the price. You walk away the winner. You win, you fucking lose. That's what's going on in the world today. We just want everybody to make the right decisions. The more right decisions that's made, the better the world is going to be for everybody. But unfortunately, some people, they have to do what they do. And they think they're still going to get rewarded. Bad, I'm telling you guys right now, and I've said it a million damn times, bad behavior is not rewarded. You're not going to get the win. You behave badly, you're going to get treated badly back, and you're not going to like it. You don't mind dishing it out. You don't mind playing your games. You don't mind making men jump through hoops, thinking you're some queen, thinking you got all the leverage. You don't mind doing that, but when it comes back to you, when now you want a high-value dude, you can't get him because you wasted a lot of time 
you got older, you got ran through, you had your fun, now you pay the price. Because there's a price for everything. And you, you gotta pay it. So. There's some truth for you. Women never win in the end this way as I'm explaining. Men do 100% of the time. Not even 99.9, 100% of the time, men win in this situation. That's because they're not smart when they're young. They don't think long term, they think right now. My whole life, I always thought long term. Even as a less logical than I am right now, younger man, I even thought long term. What's gonna be good for me in the long term? Not right now, in the long term. Obviously a girl around my age, maybe a few years younger when I'm in my early 20s, you get her, you get things going. <clears throat> but when things mess up, there's not much you can do because they wanted to take that route, okay. We'll see that we will we'll, we'll see how that works out for you. We'll see how things work out for me. You're motivating the fuck out of me right now. And I'm gonna make you pay. I try to tell you. I try to be like a father to you pretty much. You should have listened to me, you little bitch. Yeah. When daddy speaks, you listen. I can tell you never listen to your father. You never listen to your father. You probably weren't on good terms with your father. That's what you get. Bad parenting. And they gotta live a shit life. Is this not the truth? It is. It is the truth. You're always going to pay later on in life for the dumbass things you've done. You're always going to. <clears throat> so, when you're in your prime, you make the right decisions. What do you think a man does in his prime? He's gonna make the right decision. He's going to capitalize on the highest caliber of female he can possibly get. Why would he not? But women on the other hand, a lot of the time when they're in their prime, they make hella bad decisions. I've had a female I actually got with one time years ago. This was in 2020, right at the start before the COVID thing hit. I wasn't dating her, but I got with her. And you wanna know what she told me? For one, I've seen a million red flags. Very good looking girl, but I've seen a million red flags. And she was dead in her prime, 21. She told me she's waiting until 30, until 30 for relationships, marriage, things like this, 30. That's the delusion a lot of women have today. You're only doing yourself a disservice. You're gonna get the best thing you can possibly get when you're young, not when you're fucking 30. Can you still get a man? Absolutely you can get a man. I'm not saying you're not gonna, you're gonna be left homeless and no one's gonna bat an eye. You're just not gonna get the caliber of a man you can get when you're 30 rather than when you're very, very, very young in your early 20s, late teens, early 20s. It's not gonna happen. There's a good percentage of a chance you can't even have a kid at that age. You can probably make it happen, but the chances go down. <clears throat> and men typically like younger females for many, many, many different reasons. The older of a female that you are, the more sus it becomes to another man. It's sus. It's suspect to him. Why is she 
the, the things he's going to think. She's past 25, let's say. Why is she still single? She's past 25. She's hella good looking. There's going to be a million questions this guy's going to have. Include myself. Obviously. What the hell did she do? For all those years. <laughs> what do you think? It's not rocket science. What do you think? Now it's different, let's say. Let's say she was in a relationship from like 20 to 25 and she's now single. That'd be different. <clears throat> Which sometimes it does happen, but not too often. Can happen, not too often. So, man, it's not a good, it's, it, it's not a good look. You're not a good candidate for a wife. The only thing you're a candidate for to a guy is, you know, you're, you're going to be, you're going to be left crying. You're going to be left shedding a couple tears when you get served because you probably played the game when you were young. Now you're going to get the game run on you and you're going to continue to get older and used up more and older and used up more and less valuable and all these things because you have more kilometers on the vehicle that you are in yourself. These are all facts. This is all the truth. Men and women are not the same. They're not. There's some more truth for you. They're not the same. And women need to start thinking about how men think about them. Because you know what you want? The highest value dude you want and can get that's what you want. If you don't want that, then this video has no use for you anyways. Live your life with your cats. Do whatever you feel is necessary. <clears throat> but a major, major, major percentage of women want the best high value dude that they can possibly get. Period. High earner, high status, high everything. Pretty good looking guy. All these things play a factor. Everything plays a factor. So if you want that, you got to be a little smarter. You got to know what men want. And I'm telling you right now, and I've already told you what men want. They don't want old and used up. You know, men love brand new vehicles. You know that. They don't want no used up shit. Oh, how dare you compare me to a vehicle? It is what it is. You think he's going to pay full price for something other dudes got for free? 200,000, 250,000 kilometers on, on that damn vehicle and you think he's going to pay full price for that? I think not. You think he's going to want to buy, you think he's going to want to put a ring in your finger and invest that amount of money? Absolutely not. At most, he might hit it and quit it. He might put even more kilometers on that car and give it a good old using and then toss it aside because he's going for a brand new vehicle. He ain't going to want you. You're used because you got greedy. That's your own fault. That's your own damn fault. The girls I've dated when I was in my early 20s, when they were in their early 20s, even, nine, even 19 and 20, whenever I was even like 21, 22-ish. That's their damn fault. I've even had one girl say, I'll probably regret this. And I was like, yeah, you probably will. Because I'm highly ambitious. I know what I'm going after. I know I'm going to be successful because I work too damn hard to not be. You probably will regret this. Yeah. So, you take that route in life. Now look who she's with. Embarrassing. And she looks like she took a stroke at this point. Very beautiful female she was. So much potential. Now she's with a sluzzy looking dude who ain't got his shit together. And she looks like she took a stroke. This might sound mean or anything, guess what? This is life, this is the world. 
We just want what we deserve at the end of the day. Okay? So why would anybody ruin that? Why would anybody ruin their own value? Why would anybody do that? Bad parenting equals ruining your value most likely. <clears throat> Nobody told them what was coming to them later on. They think they can just keep their value and fade over time. They think everything's going to stay the same. They think they're going to stay like the little baddie that they were smoking hot. No. Tom is going to catch everybody. Time is not women's friend. It's more of a man's friend. Not women. Time is a woman's enemy. Time is a man's friend. Because women are created with their value. Women become more valuable than men for the majority a lot quicker. Men, it takes them more time. That's why time is a man's friend. And as time goes on, it starts to hurt women. So time is on a man's side. Time is not on a woman's side. So she has to make logical, awesome decisions for herself young. For the man, keep your head down and work on yourself. And over time, you will just continue to climb the ladder, become more valuable, have the power, have the leverage, and you get to pick and choose what you want to do. And you will land upon somebody great for yourself that has a good head on their shoulders that understands that she can also capitalize on this right now and you guys are both in a win-win situation this is what it got that this is what it comes down to everybody wants a win-win situation for themselves that's it if this ain't the truth i don't know what is can any of this be challenged what i said i don't know i don't know if it can be challenged because this really is what it is It'd be a fucking miracle if I ever got with a girl, even in her later 20s. I don't mean just get with her, I mean keep her. It would be a fucking miracle. Like the, the percentage of that happening is slim to none. Slim to none. <clears throat> it's always going to be younger, not older. But when it comes to women, the way they think, it's different. Because they will go old. They, they want to go older, essentially. Because not a lot of the time they're going to find some guy that's, that's successful at a very young age. It can happen. If you're a professional athlete, it's going to happen. But the percentage of chance of that happening is very, very, very small. Even a highly successful dude that's going to school that's going to get the, like the best of the best job. He's going to be in school for a long time. He's not successful yet. So it's going to take time. <clears throat> Same with business. If you're a young lad and you get into business at, let's say, your late teens, early 20s, you're not going to be successful in, in a flick. It's going to take you time, and then you can reach that those points. So, but anyways, guys, you guys understand at this point, uh, truth always brings controversy. Enemies will be exposed. These females are the enemy. These females that make you jump through hoops, that want to play these games, believe it or not, they are the enemy. I've came across some. They weren't not on my side. They weren't willing to submit to me. They weren't willing to let me lead, to come in, to create a good life for both me and her. She was a fucking enemy. Period. Seeing what she can get away with. Seeing what she can do. Not valuing loyalty at all. Playing the game. She ain't on your side. She ain't on your team. She's the enemy. So she can shoot herself in the foot and be the enemy all she wants. She's going to be the one left in tears. So, And you're going to get to live the good life. And that's all i got to say. So...